Cecil the Lazy Dragon by Sally Sheringham Cecil Dragon was grown up, but he still lived with his parents. Their house was really too small for three large dragons. But it was very neat and tidy, apart from Cecil's room, for Cecil was a very lazy dragon. After all, he thought, why should I bother to rush about tidying my room when I could just stay in bed reading a comic? Why bother to stand at the stove cooking things to eat when I could just burst flames on my food and it would be done in a trice? Why bother to go outdoors when I could just stay in bed all day? In other words, why should I bother to do anything when I could be enjoying doing nothing? What are we going to do with you, Cecil Dragon? His mother would say, sniffing into her handkerchief. <laughs> you won't leave a claw to help in the house. Or try to find a job added his father, his face turning as red as a strawberry. How can we afford to keep you at home doing nothing for the rest of your life? And you make the house seem even smaller, sobbed his mother. <laughs> Always being here. You need to be taught a lesson, said his father sternly. But he couldn't, for the life of him, think what sort of lesson that could be. How could he make Cecil find a job if he couldn't even get him out of bed? Don't worry, parents dear, Cecil would say, airily shrugging his shoulders. It will all work out in the end. And meanwhile, why should I bother to do anything when I can do nothing? How unhappy his poor parents were. One day, as usual, Cecil was lying in bed reading a comic. His parents were out at work, and he was very happy doing nothing. This is the life, he said, sighing very deeply and very contentedly. Cecil was too lazy to bother to look around. If he had, he would have noticed that the sparks from his sigh had caused the bedroom curtains to catch fire. Soon he could smell burning, then he could hear crackling. He also began to feel much too warm, but Cecil just shrugged. After all, why should he bother to do anything when he could be doing nothing? But this time Cecil had to do something. Flames were leaping up all round him. The whole house had caught fire, including his bed and his comic. If he did nothing a moment longer, he would be burnt to a crisp. Snakes alive! cried Cecil, and just managed to get out of the house before it collapsed in flames. Cecil was unharmed, apart from his tail, which was smoldering. He went over to the duck pond to cool it down. What a sizzle it made! When Cecil's parents returned from work, they found him still wearing his pajamas, lying on the front lawn. This time Cecil had really gone too far. His mother was so upset. She needed 20 handkerchiefs to dry her tears. His father was so angry, his face turned the color of a raspberry. He shouted at Cecil for a good 30 minutes, but Cecil wasn't even listening. Don't worry, Dad, he said when he could get a word in. It will all work out in the end. How can it work out in the end? roared his father, whose face was now as a scarlet as a very, very ripe plum. Something has to be done first, and you never do anything except set houses on fire. Look, said Cecil, why don't you and Mom go and stay with Aunt Lucy? Leave everything to me. I have a plan. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. I'll believe that when I see it, 
muttered his father. But Cecil did have a plan. When he had gone to the dock pond to cool down his tail, he had noticed a long line of animals queuing up at Sid Fox's hamburger stall. The animals were getting very cross because Sid Fox was being so slow. Saying that long queue had given Cecil a very good idea. Cecil's plan was to set up a hamburger stall of his very own. Above it, he put a big sign, Cecil's the fastest food in town. And it was the fastest food in town. All that Cecil had to do was breathe on the food. And it was cooked in a trice. Soon he had made so much money he could afford to buy his parents a house big enough for at least 10 full-sized dragons. Cecil's parents were delighted with their new home. You've done us proud, son, said his father, and this time his face stayed its normal green color. His mother even kissed Cecil's cheek. As for Cecil, he bought himself a double-sized bed, which he set up beside his stall. Why should I bother to do anything when I can happily do nothing? He laughed to his customers as he lay in bed reading a comic and cooking 10 sausages four hamburgers and two chicken legs in one hot breath.